Hey everyone, welcome to our Getting Started with Crazy Talk Animator 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to briefly introduce you to a lot of the cool new tools and features with CTA 2. So let's get started with the content manager on the right hand side, which contains uh, all of our content. Uh, you can see I have my project tab here, uh, all of my actors here, the animations, as well as my scenes and props, and my special effects. Let's go back to our uh, scene tab to start off here, and I'm going to go into my scene folder. Now if I want to import anything into my uh, stage, all I have to do is just click and drag it. Like I can click and drag this uh, office scene here. And you can see that adds nicely into my scene. I can also simply just double click it as well. And that'll bring a whole new uh, street scene into my uh, stage right here. Uh, you can see that uh, how nicely that's done there. And if I just uh, double click on this coffee shop, we're going to be using this one later. So I'll leave this one uh, in my stage here. Now with the content manager, you can actually uh, click and drag it to uh, undock it uh, from the scene manager. You can see if I uh, select uh, items from my scene manager here, they will uh, be selected uh, in my stage there. That's an easy way to select things. I can drag my content manager back to my scene manager. And you can toggle between the two with the uh, tabs on the bottom here. I can also further customize the look of my content manager here as well by uh, changing the view mode in this drop down menu to like, gigantic thumbnails or a more detailed mode or back to our regular thumbnails. I can also choose to uh, show my navigation panel as well. So you can see we have a nice uh, organized layout of all of my uh, props and my other content as well. In addition to that, you can also uh, click and drag uh, any of these uh, toolbars here to uh, move them uh, to wherever you so desire. I'll just leave that one back up there. And also uh, take note, there's this uh, blue uh, kind of rectangle around my uh, scene here. This is called the, the uh, safe area and anything within this uh, rectangle is going to be what's rendered in your final scene. So you can kind of uh, hide things outside your scene and zoom out to make them appear uh, randomly uh, in your shot. So let's take a look at scene navigation. Now if I hold down the Alt key and I left click, I can uh, pan around my scene like this. If I have the Alt key held down and I click both mouse buttons, I can zoom in and out like this. And if I have nothing selected, so if I click outside on this white area here, I can scroll my mouse wheel and uh, zoom in and out that way. Holding Shift will allow me to uh, zoom in and out faster. Um, however, if I have something selected like this uh, plant right here, and I scroll my mouse wheel, you'll see that it will move back and forth on the z-axis, which you can see indicated within the uh, xyz values up here. I can move that behind my wall or wherever I'd like. If I want to change the uh, safe area, I can also go up to uh, edit. I can go to uh, project settings and the safe area is right here so I can uh, make that uh, larger or smaller. However much uh, space I need to uh, accommodate my, uh, my, my needs. So let's go back to about 20 there and press OK. Let's take a look at the uh, actors in Crazy Talk Animator 2. So I'm going to go to the Actor tab into my uh, characters here, and I'm going to go to G2 characters, which are the Generation 2 characters of CTA 2. And you can see they're indicated by the little G2 uh, on the top left of their icon there. So I'm going to click and drag in this Saul guy uh, right in front of our uh, shelf of goodies here. And you can see we have uh, Saul in our scene there, the uh, hippie-looking dude. And let's bring him down a little bit. Now if I want to see where he added into my scene, I can actually use the uh, 3D view here, and I can uh, just hold Alt and right click, and I can uh, kind of pan around my scene and see uh, where each individual item is on my uh, Z axis. And I can move them back and forth uh, using the uh, gizmo as well, so I can move him uh, that way as well. Let's go back into our regular uh, stage mode here. Let's take a look at the G2 characters. Now the G2 characters have 10 different angle profiles. So if I have my uh, character selected here, I'm going to go into the motion key editor here, the 3D motion key editor, and you can see it comes up with this new UI here, where I can click and drag this slider and move my character into all kinds of different uh, angle profiles. So you can see he has a fairly comprehensive set of uh, angle profiles here, including uh, top and bottom. Uh, in addition to that, uh, characters in CTA 2 can utilize uh, human IK technology. So if I select my character's hips, for example, um, I can just... Uh, move those around and you can see the uh, body will react uh, naturally to my uh, to my motion there. Just press Control Z to undo that. Another example, if I click my uh, hand, I can kind of move my entire body along. It'll follow that, uh, that hand movement right there. So that's a, that's a really new powerful tool with uh, CTA 2 as well. Let's get started on some animation. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to move uh, Saul over here behind this table and chair. It looks like he's already there. If I move it, I can, uh, if I move this little gizmo on the bottom here, I can move him up back and forth on the z-axis. So maybe something like that will be okay. Yeah, we're good right there. So what I want uh, to do is I want to have uh, Saul walk around this table and kind of in front of this uh, stand of goodies here. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our content manager here on the bottom right and go to our animation tab. 
And I want to go to Motions, uh, 3D Motions, and Move. 3D Motions are fully compatible with G2 characters and all of the uh, motion key editors, so you can uh, make these uh, appear at any sort of angle you'd like. Uh, I'm going to select my uh, mail walk here, and I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. So once that applies to uh, Saul, you can see he takes a couple steps there. Now if we press F3 and go into the timeline, you can see that I have Saul selected. I'm going to open up my uh, 3D motion track right here. And we have our uh, little clip that we just added. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit. And you can see there that we have that uh, clip. And if I want to loop that, if I have looping selected, I can simply click and drag on the edge of my uh, clip there. And you can see now that we have this uh, little uh, walking animation right there. Now if I want, I can actually go into the uh, middle of this clip. And you'll see that when the clip is like this, when they have uh, keyframes at each individual um, section, basically if I make one modification to this clip, it'll transfer to all the other clips as well. So let's go ahead into the uh, motion key editor there. And say, for example, I change this uh, profile to 45 degrees here. You'll see it'll add a keyframe in the 3D angle track in every single clip. So the result would be something like this. You'd go 45, 0, 45, 0. That's not really what we want. So I'm going to actually just press Control Z and undo that. Now, if I want a clean slate to work from, I can just simply right click on my, all my clips and select Flatten Motion Clip. And that'll take all those keyframes away. So it'll be one full clip that we can just uh, modify using our motion key editor here. So let's go back to frame one. And what I want to do is move this profile to 90 degrees. So now when I do that, this entire clip is going to be playing at a 90 degree profile. So basically what we want Saul to do is we want him to kind of walk around this table and in front of the uh, snacks there. So let's go ahead and count uh, two steps and then transform him. So go one, two, like that. And about there, we're going to open the transform track and move him a little bit to the side. Somewhere about there should be good. And you can see that uh, um, basically he's in that spot right there. And from here on, we want him to change to a 45 degree angle. So let's go ahead and select 45 degrees on my uh, motion key editor there. And you'll see that keyframe will appear. Let's count two more steps. One, two. And at this point, we want him to kind of move at a 45 degree angle right here. Maybe a little bit up on the, uh, whoops, we don't want to scale him there. So just control Z and undo that. You want to make sure you have this uh, gizmo selected at the bottom there. So we'll make sure we move him up on the Z axis there. And from this point, we want him to uh, change angles to zero degrees. And you'll see that I'll add another keyframe there in the 3D angle track. And then we want him to one, two, three, maybe three steps will, will do okay. And we'll move him up on the uh, Z axis here, maybe a little bit to uh, to the side there as well. So let's take a look at uh, what we just created there. I'm going to close down the timeline for now. Go ahead and press play. Okay, so we have uh, Saul kind of uh, doing his uh, three-point uh, turn there, walking towards us. Now what I want to do before we move on is I want to actually create an automatic lip sync uh, for uh, Saul here. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. I'm going to be, he's going to be talking while he's walking. Um, so let's go back to uh, the frame, uh, first frame here. And what I want to do is select our Create Script button here. And you can record your own voice. You can do a text-to-speech, a wave file. I'm going to uh, record my own voice here just to show you how, uh, how easy it is to do this. And he's going to be basically talking uh, while he's walking, like I said. So let's go ahead and record my voice. And you can choose your microphone device. And I just press Record. And I'll say something like, uh, Hey everybody, welcome to our Getting Started tutorial with Crazy Talk Animator 2. And press stop, and then just go ahead and press OK with that. Hey everybody, welcome to our Getting Started tutorial with Crazy Talk Animator 2. Alright, so we have uh, Saul doing his uh, walking and talking right there. Well, let's add some expression to him. Uh, so let's go back to this uh, frame here where we can actually see his face. And what I want to do is use our Facial Puppet uh, tool right here. So let's click on that. And if you're not in the Facial Puppet, you can actually toggle between Body and Facial Puppet using uh, this button here. Let's go ahead and select a few of the profiles. We'll zoom in on his face a little bit. So you can see that the we have all these uh, previous versions of Crazy Talk uh, on the profiles uh, here as well. So for example, this grumpy lady, if she's happy, this is what she'll kind of look like. You can see we have uh, this uh, expression. You can click and blink the character's eyes. Uh, maybe this character here, we have a nice uh, smiley face. And uh, you see that uh, his, his mouth is moving around there. Uh, we have maybe this character is kind of a happy 
His mouth opens right there. And this one's nice as well. And we can also uh, choose this uh, sprite profile here as well. Maybe such something like an angry one and kind of see the uh, results there. And he's not looking too happy right there. Let's go ahead and just choose this uh, happy one uh, from this child here. Now if I press uh, preview and I press space, make sure you're aware that when you press space, that's where the uh, axis of your movement is going to be. So if I press uh, space when my cursor is right here, you'll see that that is where my uh, center of my uh, axis is and I can uh, move my character around that way. So let's go ahead and go back to frame one and we'll just go ahead and press record and we're going to move, uh, create some expression on his eyes. Hey everybody, welcome to our Getting Started tutorial with Crazy Talk Animator 2. Okay, so we had a couple of different uh, eye sprite changes there. Now uh, what I want to do is after he's finished walking, I want to apply a 3D motion to him. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit, go back to our timeline here, and let's close down the Transform and 3D Motion tracks. I want to take a quick look at the face track here so you can see the uh, audio clip that we created and the facial clip. This is the uh, facial puppet clip that we created. And this is the uh, um, lip syncing clip. So if I uh, twirl down the voice clip here, you can see that's the audio data. And these are all the keyframes that my uh, lip sync created. So I'm going to go and zoom in a little bit. Let's take a look at something like uh, this one here. Uh, we'll zoom in on our character's face. Now uh, this is my character's uh, facial sprite for the uh, J uh, shape. So let's double click on that. If I double click on that, you'll see it'll come up with a number of different uh, facial sprites. We can do like a, an O, a T. Uh, IH. Um, these are all the uh, different uh, lip syncing sprites uh, for my character. I can just choose a none as well. Anything like that. Um, so let's basically, um, we can switch that to anything we'd like if we want to refine our uh, lip sync. So let's go ahead and zoom out right now. And at this point, after he's finished his walk, we're going to apply a uh, dance motion here. Since we're done with the, all the uh, facial stuff now, let's go to uh, where he stops walking. Crazy Talk Animator 2. Okay, so about uh, here, and let's close down the face track and open up the 3D motion track here. So when he stops, uh, when he stops walking, uh, about here after the uh, at the transform key, what I want to do is go into my content manager here and just go ahead and apply a dance animation. Uh, we're going to apply this MJ uh, motion right here. So he's going to be uh, doing an MJ dance after he finishes his walk. So let's go ahead and just double click that. It doesn't really matter where it is uh, in the clip. It's just going to overwrite this section of the clip. So let's just pr uh, double click that MJ dance and you can see my character does a 3D kick and twirl. And so that's pretty cool. That's the uh, power of the uh, 3D motion uh, with a uh, G2 character. You can see my character just uh, walk and then pop into his uh, Michael Jackson spin there. So what I want to do now is do some sprite editing to add some emotion to that spin since he looks a little uh, blasé. Let's go ahead and uh, you know, at this point of his spin right here, we want him to kind of do a, like a Michael Jackson uh, scream, like an ow sort of thing. So in order to do that, I need to go over here to my uh, sprite editor. And I'm going to open that up. And you can see now that I'm going to zoom in on my character. And if I select his eye, you can see that uh, I have uh, his eye selected in the uh, profile image here. Um, I want to change this to a closed eye since that's going to be like a very ow type uh, look. And we will select his right eye as well, even though you can't see it right now. We'll just uh, do the same thing to that one and change it to an angry expression sprite. Uh, and then for the uh, for the face, we can select that as well, uh, the mouth rather, and just choose like a oh sort of uh, expression on his face there, so he's really getting into it. And then in addition to that, with his hand, we can actually uh, select his hand and choose one of these uh, profiles as well. We'll choose this uh, one uh, one sprite. So you can see now that he will oh turn around and oh like that. And then when he's uh, going back to normal, we'll just uh, bring his eyes back. So let's select his eye and bring that back to a kind of happy, happy type eye there. Bring his mouth back to normal as well. Maybe we'll give him a nice little uh, smirk on his face like that. And bring his uh, hand back to normal as well. Bring that back to a relaxed uh, final look right there. All right, so that's about all we're going to do for animation. So let's go ahead and zoom out and take a look at the result here. Hey everybody, welcome to our Getting Started tutorial with Crazy Talk Animator 2. Oh, there you go. So that's our uh, completed animation there. Now what I want to do is uh, show you a little bit about uh, render style. So let's go to somewhere like here where our character is kind of doing his uh, dance. And I want to show you some pretty cool uh, render styles. So 
if I want to select a render style for a particular object in my scene, like let's say the character, if I have the character selected, let's change our, uh, close down our sprite editor for now. Once I have my character selected, I can actually go over here to uh, render style. And that'll bring up the uh, render style UI on the right hand side here. And I can choose to uh, modify my character's render style. Like you can give him a bright neon uh, style like that, a uh, pop art style like that, uh, even a retro style. Or, uh, or a line art style, all kinds of cool different styles you can uh, uh, apply to your character. And if you have the pro version of uh, Crazy Talk Animator, you can actually um, do some further modifications to that as well. Let's just go ahead and bring it back to uh, neon mode here. And uh, if I go to my uh, scene manager, I can select individual items like my, uh, like my uh, snack bar here, and I can go uh, change the render style of that to neon. And you can see that lights up and uh, multicolored right there. I can actually even select uh, everything in my scene as well. Uh, by selecting, by clicking the uh, scene text right there and then changing everything in the uh, entire scene to neon as well. So you can see that's a pretty funky look. We got a lot of purple and uh, neon colors there as well. So let's go ahead and change my character back to uh, back to normal uh, for now because we're going to actually take this character into our character composer. Uh, so the character composer is the last thing I'm going to show you. It's uh, right up here. Um, you can select that. And here you can make some modifications to your character. Uh, including uh, actor proportion size, uh, which is right here. If I select that, I can give him like a airhead type look, a stretchy look, a strongman look, hobbit look, any of these you can uh, fool around with. I'm just going to leave them at default for now. And if I go down to my content manager, I can actually uh, uh, replace body parts on this character as well. Um, if I go to his uh, head tab, we can go to uh, maybe, for example, the uh, hair right here. We'll give him a haircut. Uh, we'll go to uh, G2. Maybe uh, cut off that hippie hair of his and give him more of a, a business type cut right there. So you can see he looks a lot different now. He has two eyes. Uh, in addition to that, we can also choose to uh, change the shape of his face by going to face and G2 face. We'll give him a shave as well. Get rid of that uh, goatee. And there you can see that he looks a lot, uh, a lot younger, uh, a lot more fresh faced. And let's uh, zoom out. We can also change his uh, upper and lower body as well. If I select the uh, body, I can choose to um, modify the upper or the lower, or I can just replace the entire body by going to body and G2. Let's just give him a nice uh, suit or a nice uh, t uh, shirt and tie there, make him look a bit more professional. And uh, you can see there is my character right there. He's uh, completely changed his uh, his appearance. So let's go ahead and uh, bring him back into our uh, into our scene right here. And you can see that uh, all of the modifications are all of the, uh, despite all the modifications, all of his animations are uh, still the same. So you can swap out your characters like this. You can make uh, separate uh, changes to them. Let's go ahead and play this one back here. Hey everybody, welcome to our Getting Started tutorial with Crazy Talk Animator 2. Oh, all right. So the character looks a lot different, but uh, the animation remains the same. So you can swap out uh, your characters and animations like that. Let's bring this guy back into neon style just to uh, have him more uh, matched with the scene. So let's go back to uh, neon here. And uh, there we go. You can see he looks uh, looks pretty funky there. Um, now the final thing I'm going to show you is some quick camera movement. So let's go ahead and I'll go up to uh, camera record mode here on the top. And what I want to do is just uh, zoom in uh, on my character here. And let's go over to some, something like this. And... Um, Maybe at the uh, point where he's uh, walking towards the screen. So he's about uh, just finished walking towards the screen. We'll just uh, zoom out. And uh, you can see now that uh, we have zoomed out the camera. And if I go back to frame one, just press stop and go back to frame one, now we have some camera movement. Hey everybody, welcome to our Getting Started tutorial with Crazy Talk Animator 2. Oh. All right, so that's about it for this tutorial. Um, we will have other tutorials that go more into depth on all the individual tools and features, so don't worry about that. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at developer at And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this, and uh, thanks for watching.